Hey, I'm Chris Zepp from Make Everything, and today, really simple upgrade to the Delta RC51 planer. We're adding a Wixi DRO that's going to give incredible accuracy and make using this thing a dream. Check it out. Okay, so this thing is, is pretty simple. It's got a slide here uh, that goes up and down. And uh, according to their manual, you can kind of mount this thing a couple of different ways. Um, you can either mount the slide to the table, you can mount the, the reader to the table. So I'm gonna mount the, the, the reader, the bar, to the face of the planer. And then this actually um, is ran, there's a magnet here. And that's how this goes up and down. So I'm going to do something along the lines of this and get it onto the planer. Let's check it out, the planer, and see how this is going to fit. So this is a Delta RC51. This is a 20-inch, 7.5 horsepower, three-phase planer. Now, when the machine is on, the drive that drives the cutter head also drives a pulley that raises and lowers the table so that the cutter head doesn't move like on a traditional uh, like a bench top planer. Uh, right now I have the table basically as low as it goes, which is about eight inches. I want to mount this so that I can get maximum depth out of it and also maximum height. Now this lever right here engages and disengages the feed. So as long as I stay clear of that, I think I'm going to be okay. And if I mount this down here and low like that, I actually could probably use that screw hole to mount it down there, but over to the side. This might actually just be perfect. It's like this. Now this is where the cord gets plugged into the reader, and there's no reason why this can't run exactly like this. There is a calibration little thing down here on the bottom, but I think if the table's up high enough, I can easily get something in there to calibrate this thing uh, without any issue. So I think it's just a matter of mounting this thing on there seeing how it winds up. They actually give you some uh, drill bits and some screws to uh, put this thing in. But I'm going to try and actually use this for one of my mounting positions. All right, that's full depth, which is about nine inches. So bring that down, give myself a little bit of room, and that should be good. There's some metal in here I don't really want to hit, so. Pre-drill those two holes right there. And I can drill a hole here too. They gave these like self-tapping screws once you drill the pilot hole. I always find it's better to run them in, back them back out, just in case you break one, your part isn't bolted on there with a broken screw, so.
So the next part to mount is the little computer. Um, I'm going to mount it right here so that I can tilt it up and see it. Um, this cover is thin sheet metal. I can just put the self-tapping screws right there. And then there's actually a cable that runs from that up into here and I can route it along the side of the machine and plug it right in so it's out of the way. Since it moves up and down with the table, I can have a little loop down there and it'll stay out of my way. Okay, so it's all wired up. I've got my cable running over to the scale on the other side. This thing is mounted. I can see it really well right by the handle. I'm going to bring the table up because to calibrate it, you have to plane a piece of material that's three quarters of an inch thick or thinner. So in order to bring the table up, I've got to turn the machine on and raise the table with the lever. installation of the hardware is complete now this thing has an automatic kind of calibration system where there's a, a slide on the scale itself and by running a board through the planer I can actually use the slide to calibrate it so that it's exact so this is a piece of three quarter inch stock I'm gonna run this through a couple of times um, and then we're gonna cut off a piece of it and we'll go through the little calibration process and then we'll check it with a digital caliper just to make sure that everything is good. The idea is that you can actually do this without a digital caliper, but I figure why not just double check, make sure it's right. So the instructions called for me to cut a piece out of this board. Uh, to minimize the effect of possible snipe. So I've got this, now the little calibration scale is down here. According to the instructions, I just loosen this and open this up. Clamp that piece of material in there nice and tight. I can tighten this back up. There's a spring keeping this down. Now we'll go over to the digital controller. So over here, if I hold to calibrate. Okay. Now I can press again to zero it out. Now when I remove this board, it should subtract the distance, the difference of this board, and it should calibrate exactly. So I'm reading 645. Let's check this board and see what it measures at. We've got 0.64. Check it on this side. 0.64. So I'm 0 0.005 off, five thousandths. And that is well within the range that this thing is supposed to be accurate to, and I'm pretty happy with that. Just so you can see five thousandths, five thousandths is a less than a hair thicker. So I think we're good. I can press this and it'll lock it in. Okay, let's test it on what's left of this, run it through a couple of times, and see what the planer DRO reads. I'm actually going to test it out on this piece of ash. Right now, it's measuring on the calipers at 1.104. Let's bring it down to exactly one inch. So my DRO is reading exactly one inch. This should have no problem taking that cut. Pretty good to me. 9995. That is awesome. That about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Simple, simple upgrade. A couple of holes I had to drill running this wire. Calibration took two minutes. 
Um, I'm really excited about having this thing on there. I've got a couple of slab projects coming up and it'll be really nice to be able to dial in the thickness that I get out of my material with this thing, set it and it's good to go. Um, the fact that it's really easy to calibrate is also really nice because if I ever get new planer blades, which I'm kind of due for now, uh, or if you know one of them gets reground or anything like that, two minutes to recalibrate, you can't beat that. Again, this isn't sponsored by Wixie. I bought this with my own money. There's a link down below to Amazon to pick this up. It was about $75. Absolutely, absolutely worth it if you're gonna have one of these big planers and you want to invest in some accuracy. Um, if you wanna see behind the scenes stuff, what I'm doing in the shop on a daily basis, Follow me on Instagram, at Make Everything Shop. I post on my story every day in between shots. I show what I'm up to, tool picking, uh, little adventures that I get to go on. So if you're interested, check it out there. If you have questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like the video and share it with friends to you know, show somebody else how easy it is to add a TRO to their planer. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.